The suckers were fine, but the rest of this is really hard. Big. Hopefully we can find some good stuff in that bag again. I look we are racing. You guys are going to say something about me poking it. And trust me, I will check the box or the package inside before we, we eat anything but my grabber I left in my daughter's car. some check this guys I just started pulling these clothes out and then I saw this bag here oh. Oh. there's some more items right there For those that ask me to tell them what store I'm at, so someone uh, dug through and then didn't take it. And funny, I just uh, when I pulled up here, someone was here, and I saw them peek in, and then they left. So I was like, maybe there's nothing in there, and thank goodness I checked. time that I've been squirting a mystery box from Barnes and Nobles in a very long time. Wow. Awesome. Sweet. sister's gonna love them. Full moon planet projector light. Well that is super neat. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix that. Looks like a deck of cards. Oh I see. I see. Oh look at the little push toy. That is so cute. Customer said it broke. Oh, I can use that. And rivals. Not sure, but 
but anyways, and my reading prescription. <laughs> yeah, that is my return because lens is chipped. I don't know, but those are really cute. All right. I guess we're gonna get back to checking this particular dumpster. I had kind of stopped because I could never find anything, but I think I figured it out now which day to go. actually feel soft. Nice. Okay, those aren't bad. vacuum but Then we got these. Cool. Actually, I'm gonna grab the 
these too. Because I actually really need these. Look how many there are. All right, this is everything that I saved from the Ulta box, and this is proof right here why it is worth going through. I've, I've heard some horror stories of uh, some Ultas that pour like really bad chemicals, and um, I can tell you right now, uh, us Coloradans, that would not be, um, that would not fly here at all. That would be a big problem, and I think. Um, I, I dive at a lot of Ultas and I have never seen anyone in Colorado do that. Um, that would just be a really big problem here that would get reported and um, the dumpsters, they, would, they wouldn't allow them to pour dangerous chemicals um, outside of containers. So lucky enough, I have not ever witnessed that, um, but I do try and save the things that are in bottles like this so this one is called echo lake and i did look this up and this bottle goes for almost a hundred dollars um it is a unisex scent um yeah that was a pretty awesome uh find there and then we have this is a shampoo and conditioner and these are a shampoo and conditioner redkin and then check this out this one is dr brand 89 dollars on that on that uh this little bottle here and it's some wrinkle soothing cream so I'm kind of excited to try that and then you guys I don't know what these are I was searching through Ulta I went through page after page on their website of these um, I could not find this bottle and there's no label on it or anything so I cannot figure out what these are and there's four bottles and they smell really pretty, but I just really wanted to know more about them. So if any of you guys out there know what this is or anything about it, if you can comment down below, I would be so appreciative of that. Um, then we have the Revolution, some glow, and Too Faced Eyeliner, which all I have to do is just sharpen that down a little bit. And I love this uh, Buxom. Um, this was all taped and sealed around. Uh, that's their lip plump. And then this was pretty cool. The elf during the holidays, the elf uh, movie uh, did a collab. It looks like here and they did these cute um, lip glosses, some hairpins and another elf. I think this is like some highlighter or something. And I love Tarte's uh, Shape Tape. I love this product. I was using that before I even started dumpster diving, so I get excited when I find that because Michaela and I really like to use those. But yeah, this was uh, I, this came out of one box, and wait till you guys see the next uh, score out of the Ulta that I scored after Christmas. This got some fun stuff out of this Old Navy bag. Um, some kids size large little cute little Christmas leggings. I think there was a couple pairs. Um, there were these shoes. I'm not sure. I haven't even checked the size yet. Okay, size 10. I'm not sure if those are men's or women's. A uh, pack of masks. Those are so uncomfortable. They're just like such thick cloth. It's uh, um, yeah, they're not not comfortable. And I love this sweater. I'm like totally going to keep it. I'm sure, I don't know if this is probably a men's large, but um, I like it. I'm like, I'm going to keep it. And we have a shirt here, extra small. I mean, isn't that insane? $36.99. Like, honestly, who would pay $36.99 for this? Um, I'm sure most people purchase the stuff when it's on sale but that's that's pretty pricey another pair of uh, kids large leggings and I think I know I told you guys these were actually from um, Burlington um, my little neighbor my little neighbor girl Emma I call her my little neighbor uh, she's eight gonna be nine and so I always give her stuff like that so I have a big pile for her pair um extra small i'll probably give that to michaela 
and extra small leggings. And what else do we have? Some cute heart socks. I love those. I'll probably keep those. And then there was another pair of large leggings that I'm sure Emma is going to love those. So we're, we'll give that. And I'll probably keep this extra small, extra small. I think that'll fit me though. So I'm going to probably keep that. Um, and yeah, this isn't from this haul, but this was a bunch of magazines, uh, crocheting magazines that I scored from Michaels and Michaela loves this little uh, Pusheen character. So she asked me to set this aside for her. I think you guys have heard of Pusheen before the cat. I guess it's really popular. And then these were from, I think Burlington. Um, I found these a while ago and I am getting ready to put up some window coverings in my bedroom and I just love it. Uh, so I'm actually going to put these up this week. So, um, yeah, that was it. A fantastic Old Navy score. Um, wow, this, my Old Navies have been really good to me lately. There's a couple locations that, um, there's one weird location, I'm telling you, they never throw anything away. I thought they were closed, and I drove around, and they're open, so I think they may just throw out one day a week. Uh, I don't hit it every day, but I've hit it quite a few days and never could find a single garbage bag. And so I was like, what is going on with this place? But um, I have two locations that I go to then they don't damage. Um, so those are those are my go to Old Navy um, dumpsters at the moment. Um, it's been uh, pretty awesome. If you guys haven't seen check a few uh, maybe a month ago where I scored all of the Old Navy returns they were still in the blue bags and um it was like over two thousand dollars in clothing you'll scroll down you'll see the thumbnail on it um yeah you definitely got to watch that one if you enjoy watching the clothing hauls